All right, what's going on, people? Uh, this is Matei with Tech Vitamins, and today we're going to take a look at how to install Joomla 1.6 um, on your server or you know your, your web hosting space, um, so you can get it up and running and use this awesome tool or you know open source platform to develop your website. Now, this is actually pretty easy, but um, some people may find it a little bit um, intimidating. But uh, if anything is intimidating, it may be uh, creating the database and the username to um, connect it to as you install it. So let's get started with that. Obviously, I first went to Joomla.org um, to download the latest version of Joomla 1.6. So I already got that saved in my downloads folder. And next thing we're going to do is uh, go into my C panel. Now, of course, there's different um, control panels out there for different web you know web host companies and so forth but you know cpanel is pretty common and um, I'm gonna try to make this as clear as possible as to where you need to go to access your files and um, you know which particular area of my um, web space I'm in um, so I'm gonna go first into the file manager which is gonna allow me to access my root my public HTML folder which is really where all your um, files sit that are going to be displayed on the internet and we're going to go into it now I already have a installation of Joomla on here which is actually powering our website techvitamins.com um, which by the way is not built yet it will be coming soon but uh, what I'm going to do is create a separate folder for this to do a fresh install um, you know usually this whole folder will be empty there will be nothing in here if it was a clean public HTML folder so what I'm going to do is just um, uh, create a new folder. Let's call it call it demo Joomla. And I'm going to create this new folder and go into it. And this is really what you you will find usually when you're installing a fresh install of Joomla and you have nothing in your public HTML folder. This is the way it would usually look. There'd be nothing in there. So. I'm going to go ahead and upload my zip folder that I downloaded from Joomla.org uh, with the installation package. So let me go to my uploads, let me go ahead and look for that file. This I'm just doing this to make sure that I can you know, write and execute and basically do anything with the file that I want to do as I upload it. So I'm going to browse, go to my downloads. Here we go, Joomla 1.64 stable package. Let me open it. There we go. Now it's completely on um, on my public HTML folder. Let me go back. You see that it's in here. So there's a couple different things we have to do first before we can start installing this. And this is what I was talking about earlier. You have to make sure you create a new database. It, uh, and a user for it. So I'm going to go back into my cPanel um, home screen and first start in my MySQL databases. We'll click on that and go ahead and create a new database. So you know usually your database will always start with uh, the username of your account so that doesn't really matter what it is just make sure you remember what the database is going to be called. And this one I'm going to call you know tech uh, VITA demo I'm going to create the database, go back, let's create it, and now that I have this uh, database created right here, I have to create a user for it. So let me create a user for that database, demo user, and um, okay, I guess I can't do that, Put demo use. And let's do password, same thing, demo use 2011. There we go. Demo use 2011. I'm going to create that user. Sure, we can remember the password and there's no problem. Now, one, here's an important thing you have to do. Once you create that user, you have to select a database and the user that you're going to add it to. So I'm going to choose the user tech VITA demo use as opposed to my first one that I created for my actual website. I'm going to add that user to this database. And what that's going to do as I add it, 
is going to bring this screen up. Now, you have to make sure that this particular user that you're creating for the Joomla database has to have all privileges. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in the middle of the installation. You're going to have to come back and somehow figure out um, you know, how to change these settings. Now, in other web hosting services, you may be able to access the user through a different you know, method, or you can probably find the users in the list of users. You can uh, either click on them to edit or some type of icon to edit it. But you know, whatever you're doing, make sure you can access the privilege settings or access settings and make sure that everything is selected for this particular user. This is going to be the main user that's going to access to that um, database. So let's go ahead and um, do that, make changes, go back, and we should, be uh, we should be good to go. So now we got our user, we got the database, we we'll go back to home, um, and then we're going to go back to our file manager. Even though I already have it open, let me just go through this again, the file manager. For you newbies out there, make sure you get this right. Um, let's go again back into our demo Joomla folder. And we have the Joomla 1.64 stable full package zip. So, what I'm going to do is select this. And cPanel makes it fairly easy for you to just simply go ahead and say extract. Now, yes, I'm going to extract it in this folder. Usually, for your purpose, you would do it just to the public HTML. You would not have another folder in here, but I do because I already have an existing installation on my server. So let's go ahead and um, unzip this folder. So, um, now it did unzip it in here, so if I click reload here, you would see that whole installation is in here. And the way you actually go through the install process is uh, a little bit different, which you may think is, it has nothing to do with uh, being in this folder anymore. There's nothing else to do in this folder. You actually have to access your website now. So I'm going to go on to a new window, go into my uh, folder or my website. So usually here you just type your website, but since I created an extra folder for my installation, I'm going to have to type that in. Yeah, I believe it was Joomla demo or demo Joomla. Let's check that. As soon as I access my site, it brings me to the installation screen of Joomla 1.6. So now let's go through the process. First screen, obviously very simple. Um, use English unless you speak any other language. Um, hopefully you can still understand this. Let's click next. Now, um, here, this is just telling you, you know, which PHP version uh, was detected on your server. You know, making sure everything is yes. Um, display errors is on. It's not a big deal for certain um, extensions that you install into your Joomla um, platform. May require this to be off. And also, if you find yourself having any of these with the red no next to it, either go on Joomla.org's forum or just simply you know Google it. You know, what can I do in my server? Uh, to make sure this says yes. So if this is all good to go, especially in this first box, all oh, yes is. Let's go next. Let's go ahead and agree to their terms of use. Where is that at? Oh, actually, all I have to do is click next. It's open source. There we go. I love it. Alright, this is where some people may get confused or find it hard to um, install this particular screen. So, it says it right here, this is usually localhost, so leave it localhost, unless your web server um, specifies otherwise. But this should always be um, localhost. So, now let's enter the username. And this is going to be the username of the uh, guy that you created. So I can go back into my cPanel screen, go into my databases, and remember my user was tech VITA demo use. Password was demo use 2011, and data maze name is tech vit beta demo. And the table prefix for your SQL database will just remain JOS, just leave it the way it is. And you don't, you know, 
any existing backup tables from other Joomla installation will be replaced. I mean, this, you know, for advanced users, if you're doing another installation because something was screwed up on your initial one, you may remove this or back it up, you know, it's up to you, but just leave it default since you're starting your very first fresh installation of Joomla. You go ahead and leave that alone. Let's click next. And let's see, could not connect to the database. Connect to return number, unable to connect to the database. My screen adapter is not available. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Password. Should be generally used to those in the Oh, whoops. Here's actually the problem. It's not the password. That was correct. But it's telling me that I cannot connect. Let's read the message again. I cannot uh, connect to the MySQL adapter, MySQL LI. Now, that's not exactly the, uh, that's not the version that I'm using or that my server is using. I'm actually using the regular version, which is most likely, um, you know, to be installed on most uh, web hosts, I believe, at least. Since I'm using a dedicated server, it may be different, but, you know, just use the regular MySQL version or make sure you figure out first if you have the light version or the regular. I have the regular. So let's try this again. I have my username, password, um, prefix table, all that is good. Let's click next. There we go. Enable FTP layer. Uh, this is up to you again. I usually click no because I use... Um, uh, FileZilla for my FTP access and you know, I actually put my IP address in there and all that stuff so it connects through it. This would actually enable FTP access directly to Joomla installation which could be useful especially if you know you uh, you have some third party worker on your website and you only want them to access uh, Joomla through FTP you would select it because otherwise you have to select a special FTP access to that particular folder to make sure they cannot access anything else other than the Joomla files but I usually leave mine at no and if you're going to be working on your own website you probably want to leave it at the same and do it that way um, you know so the username and password will be the same in that case, but I'm just going to leave that as now. Let's go next. Site name. Define your site name. I'm going to call mine demo Joomla. Admin email. Just go ahead and uh, put my own in here. Matei at techbitamins.com. By the way, you can email me on that and request any other videos about Joomla or anything else that you think I might know about, and I will definitely record a video for it. And then username, who else but me, password, let's just make it something you guys won't know. And let me confirm that. And here we go, install sample data. I would recommend to install the sample data because it's going to give you, you know, some text and a few images and menus created in your Joomla installation. And that's usually beneficial if you're a newbie to Joomla or the first time using it because you see kind of how the demo or the sample data is structured and you can access it through the backend of Joomla so you can edit it, modify it, mess around with it. And it'll kind of give you, you know, a little bit of help as you're starting off. Um, to see how everything operates, at least what the sample data includes. So let's go ahead and click next on that. Remember, and this is a cool thing about um, Joomla 1.6 um, that they give you a button to remove the installation folder. In the past, or if you're still, you know, uh, installing Joomla 1.5, uh, older version, you actually have to go inside your um, file manager into the Joomla directory, and you have to uh, manually click on the installation folder right here and delete it from it but 1.6 actually gives you a button to remove it and that's that so then I can either go to my site or I can go to administrator site obviously will be demo Joomla and you see that we have, a, we have our sample data so give me at least one sub menu my main menu home so forth if I want to access the back end of course I will put in an administrator this is how you always access your Joomla backend, is your website.com slash administrator. Brings you this page. I'm going to put my credentials in there. Log in. And boom, we're inside of Joomla 1.6, and now you can actually start building your website. So, have fun. Hopefully this helped. If it didn't, let me know through our comments. 
you know, visit our page, let, let us know some feedback, some good stuff, and uh, definitely tell us what you guys want to see next. Thanks.